you want to be the most confident, most attractive woman for yourself, you want to be the most confident woman in the, in the room. I am Nicole Lisa and today I'm going to share with you how to effectively do that. If you want to do this, if you want to see a profound shift in what you are attracting in your love life and in all areas of your life, you want to attract harmony, uh, belonging, you want to attract love, then make sure you watch this video. And if you are willing to embark with me in a journey of two months and a half, you will see the most profound shifts you've ever seen in your confidence if you stick around, okay? I am a love coach and an intuitive, and I've been working with successful women from all over the world, helping women really connect with the core of their feminine energy, the feminine confidence, and their feminine power of attraction. I'm a big fan of women. I grew up around an incredible tribe of women growing up that I felt were uh, unseen, were not appreciated in our family. Um, and it always really resonated in the, in the back of my mind for me, like, why is it that these women that are so incredible are being taken for granted in the family? What's going on? And that brought in a profound fear for me because I felt that that was going to be my future. And I also felt like it wasn't fair, like what they were going through, no woman should really go through. As I continued to grow up, I continued to experience and notice situations of women who would dedicate themselves for their family, for other people, but we were taken for granted. It made no sense to me why uh, there were so many different conversations about you need to do this and this and this and this for a man to like you, for a man to keep in, be, being interested in you. You need to look at a specific way so that he doesn't lose interest in you. Make no sense. Granted, I love the masculine. I love men, okay? I'm, I'm a love coach. I help women attract their soulmate. But I'm talking about true, genuine love. Not a love where a woman needs to, like, feels like she always has to be looking behind her back if a man is going to be interested in another woman. Or if, uh, and what to do if a man doesn't appreciate you or how to keep a man's attract, like, attention on you. I'm not about that. I'm about helping women truly, 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 own their power of their feminine magnetism, power of attraction, and having unshakable confidence or a confidence that shakes up the world, okay? I personally believe that as women, we are dimming our confidence in fear of not attracting somebody that is gonna be able to resonate, that is gonna be able to fully hold that. And not just in the love arena, we are scared of being powerful. Now, with that being said, this video is all about avoiding that, you know, actually being a powerful woman, being an attractor without needing to go into masculine energy or living out of a 60, 70% masculine energy and not fully understanding the power of your feminine. If you want to be the confident woman and the most attractive woman, you understand really truly if you're a feminine woman, that feminine energy will bring you the things that you desire with greater ease than needing to tap it into a masculine energy. A lot of women are fearful of their feminine energy or they have been taught that the feminine energy is useless or they might have some resistance to it, feeling like it's only useful to get a man. Feminine energy is more than just how to get a man. Feminine energy is an energy of well-being, of receiving, of allowing, and of expansion. So I personally feel like if you're a feminine woman and you're not fully understanding or knowing how to cultivate the power of your feminine energy to attract all of the things in life you might be secretly resisting or creating blocks or giving your power away to men or to other people. So in order to be the most confident woman or the most attractive woman in the, in the room, we first have to take our power back from giving it to people to society and to think or believe that others can determine or tell us whether we are that. All that is happening really and truly is that some women are more in flow and acceptance of their, their intelligence, their charisma, their talents, and others are in some sort of form of energetic resistance to either their talents, their gifts, their light, and or to others perceiving it. I have realized in studying energy for so many different years, like I've done, I've been studying, I've, I've been a coach for over eight years and uh, I've noticed and I've trained in this 
and have studied the energy of love and feminine attraction for so long, for over 22,000 hours. And I realized that we give too much power to people. Most people either respond or react to our energy. Okay, this is crucial to really grasp. A lot of people just simply respond or re uh, respond or react to energy. Okay, sometimes a lot of people just project what they're feeling about themselves onto others to like onto others. Okay, and when we give our power to people to determine who we are what we should receive or how we should shine or we are fearful of other people's opinions we can somehow or secretly dim our light in fear of either criticism etc now we live in a culture that highlights us going into the limelight defining women once again like are you famous are you this are like accolades and any woman that's on the limelight can tell you that there's people on the other side that are trying to knock her down, okay? Now, the same thing applies. No matter how confident, no matter how attractive, no matter how beautiful, I believe all women are beautiful and attractive. You know, uh, I really strongly believe that. We have to know how to cultivate an energy within us that people respond to our energy positively. Okay, and this is something that we cultivate on the inside through our different programs, through our different um, belief systems. That's why I say the woman that's attracting the most attention in the room, you could say long term attraction, like we all attract the different layers or levels, right? There's people who feel like they're not attractive because they feel like they go into a room and they feel like nobody notices them. It's not true that you're not attractive. You're not comfortable with the attention. For you, somewhere in your energy, it represents a level of fear, a level of danger to attract a level of attraction or like or attention. It, you could be ha you could have fear of being rejected, and that's why you uh, are not. You don't see the attraction coming in because you're not totally comfortable with it. You're not powerless in the situation. You're not a victim. Okay, you are a feminine woman. And your energy is one of an attractor. If you're not attracting, it's not because people are not interested in you. You need to feel more comfortable in letting love in, attraction in. And I'm talking in neutral, energetic terms. I am of the belief of giving hope to everybody. I speak a lot of the times to women who have spent years not feeling noticed. I've worked with women who have gone on online web that's, uh, uh, websites for over a year and not attracting one hello, okay? And telling them, you're an incredibly attractive woman. You're just confused in your energy. You fe you're fearing rejection in some sort of form or the other. You're incredibly powerful. It's not that men are not attracted to you. You need to create a safe space within you where it's safe, right? And good for people to love you, to cherish you, to be attracted to you. And it all really boils down to the programming that we have uh, we grew up around with, the decisions and the different ways we responded or reacted to energy. That's why I say there's hope for every woman to confidently attract, to feel attractive, to start attracting to her positivity. The issue lies is that we just normally tend to respond or react. We think, well, this is what happened in the past. If it didn't happen in the past, how can it happen now? That's reaction energy. You need to attract, okay? Magnetize you. That's an energy that comes from the inside. You need to open up your channels of attraction. So I've spent years, years working on the different channels of attraction for a woman to embody her goddess energy and to confidently attract more of the love, more of the attention, more of the positivity. Um, and money, like resources that she desires. The thing here issue is that it's not just about being seen. You need to have a capacity for the different things that can happen once you start to attract, okay? So that you can start to see different things move forward for you, okay? I hope that that resonates. My personal story comes from, you know, not having my first kiss until I was, was I 23? I think I had my first kiss when I was 23. And uh, I come from a background of feeling, of being, how do I say this? Uh, 
Uh, my first years in life were of somebody who was rejected all of the time, including by family members, uh, being told that no man would want me with my natural hair, uh, that I had to change, that um, the only maybe compliment that I ever received growing up wasn't compliment, it was said with resistance, which is just told me that I was smart or that I was intelligent. Um, I grew up around a lot of people who couldn't see me, okay? And I, over the years, uh, was told, you need to relax your hair, you need to do this, you need to do the other. And it reached a point where I was getting anxiety and I really needed to change the energy. See, as women, we are the leading energy of attraction. People respond or react to our energy. And I didn't know that. And I needed to learn how to open up my channel so that I could attract more positivity confidently and to continue to shine my light. I've realized over the years is that not everybody likes for you to be totally confident either. So I want to help you expand your confidence. Go big, be bold, attract no matter what, receive in plenty. And if you feel like something is stopping you from either being seen, something is stopping you from being chosen, something is stopping you from receiving more, you feel like you're subconsciously or unconsciously stopping yourself and you do not know why. You want to grow more confident in being seen, in choosing yourself, developing that level of confidence. And I created a program called Irresistible Secrets to Feminine Attraction and How to Manifest with Your Feminine Energy. This program is not just a program of love, even though it's the core of it, because what makes our energy expand and sort of blow up in goodness is instilling within us the energies of I'm attractive, I'm desirable to all the good things that I want in my life. Every woman on the planet will benefit from this program because it's not up to men or to other people or to bitter people to determine who we get to have, what we get to be. We get to receive. We are the receiving energies of the universe and we get to receive from a good place, from a good energy. So if this resonates with you, I'm going to put up a link so that you can have a 15 minute assessment assessment call with me so that I can explore how I can best support you and if irresistible is the right fit for you. Like I said, every, every woman on the planet would benefit from this, okay? I've worked with successful women from all over the world and what's amazing about this program is that the pillars, the eight pillars of feminine attraction are repeatable. So let's say you have a goal, you use these pillars, it will help you and it will work. You will attract the things that you're looking for. This is the core that is gonna help you nourish and bring it into your reality, the things that you want. You want another goal? Well, you use those pillars again and you use those pillars again and it's only gonna help you to attract for the rest of your life. If you become a millionaire, a multimillionaire, a billionaire, whatever, if you attract like the greatest love of all time, then I'm happy for you because I believe that as women, we get to really own and not hold back from our magnetism and to receive in confidence. If you feel like you're secretly holding yourself back, if you don't know what's going on and you want to claim, you know, being loved and cherished. And like I said, being worshipped from your head to your toe. If you want to manifest that, that confidence does not come from a man. It's from the things that you claim within your energy field and what you normalize within it. So I'm going to guide you through those pillars so that you can always attract and allow what you truly deserve in life. The link is going to be below. I hope that this video resonated. Let me know in the comment section. Save, share, like, um, and help me get the channel back to where it was once before because I think there's some things that are happening with the algorithm. And I hope that this resonates, okay? Sending you much love and I'll talk to you soon.